Almost 5 before this morning, the newest member of the Tucson Police Force is literally ready to take a bite out of crime. I got to meet the new police canine and his handler to find out why this dog and the others make such a difference for our community. That dog. Raven. Boost. Meet Raven oh, and Officer Samuel Rennick. Raven's a German Shepherd who just finished several months of training to get ready to start patrols as the police department's eighth canine. We build a foundation from obedience, just basic sit, lay, heal, and then we work into uh, narcotics and apprehension, um, getting into the alerts on narcotics and then uh, bite work and area searches and finding people inside building searches as well. Raven's first two years were in the Czech Republic, where he also trained to make sure he was up for the task. That's why Czech is the language he speaks. <laughs> Clearly, Raven loves what he's doing. He's responded extremely well. Um, that's where I think he gets a lot of his enjoyment, is doing the work. And everything we do, all the training is a game for them. So to do the training is how he's going to get his toy or his reward and he likes it a lot. Part of the training Three. once he arrived here was to hone in on Officer Rennick to only listen to him. Now, if you're thinking to yourself, I'll learn these commands and then police canines will listen to me, think again. Hup. See, they won't budge. Hup. In just a few short weeks, Raven has been on patrol. Officer Rennick says he's already proven he's an incredibly powerful tool. We've had several apprehensions of um, suspects that are argumentative or not complying with police and uh, as soon as he comes out of the car and gets focused on them and the suspect sees the dog a lot of times okay. in every case in our situation they've given up which is what we want in the end it it doesn't always have to be a use of force of just gaining the compliance from a, a suspect who otherwise would be combative or resistant to officers has been cool to see that's the key. Rennick told me out of all the times a police dog has gone out to a crime, only 3% of those run-ins end with a bite. That means 97% of the time, the canines actually act as a de-escalation tactic, a big step toward making our community a safer, better place. It's just the beginning, and it's been a lot of fun so far, and I can't wait to see where our career goes. So much fun meeting them. Uh, Canine Raven, of course, still in a probationary period, so police are trying to make sure that he's a good fit for the mm -hmm. job. And then after a few months, if all goes as planned, he'll become official and he'll get his own bulletproof vest. I think you're seeing, though, he's uh, acclimating very well to the oh, job. Oh, yeah. He caught on really quickly, so that's really cool that's to see. That's pretty cool.